Hey everybody, in this video, we're going to look at some x-rays that are not only very important for the exam, but also very commonly seen in daily clinical practice and emergency department. So let's jump right in. Starting with the high yield neck x-rays. Look at this x-ray of a one year old child. Let's say a one year old child comes to you with one week of fever and a barking cough. You notice that the child's cough is harsh and has a barking character to it. On this x-ray, you see this particular anomaly. Look at the normal x-ray here. Now look back at the child x-ray. You can clearly see that the airway has a pointed structure resembling the steeple of a church. This is called steeple sign. So, a one-year-old child with barking cough and steeple sign on x-ray. Can you guess what the disease is? Well, I hope you're thinking about crew. Group also known as laryngeotracheal bronchitis, is a very high yield condition with the characteristic steeple sign. And you can see a real life steeple here. Can you see the resemblance between the airway structure in group and the actual steeple? This is how you're going to diagnose it. Group is a very common condition among infants caused by para-influenza virus. The patients have a very characteristic barking cough and sometimes it can lead to upper respiratory obstruction in severe cases. The treatment for croup is symptomatic and conservative, including providing humidified oxygen and epinephrine in severe cases. Remember, you never give antivirals in croup and that's how you can be tested. So never choose antivirals as a treatment option for croup. Before we move on to our next important x-ray, can you quickly subscribe to my channel for more high yield videos like these? Thank you. Moving on. This is another very important x-ray involving a pediatric disease. Let's say a 5-year-old boy comes to you with high-grade fever, difficulty swallowing, and irritability. On his history, you know that he was never vaccinated. On his x-ray, you can clearly see a huge projection in his heart, kind of like a big fat thumb. Well, there is no such thing in the normal x-ray. This is called thumb sign. So, 5-year-old child with difficulty swallowing, high-grade fever, irritability, and thumb sign on x-ray. Can you guess what the disease is? Well, I hope you're thinking about acute epiglottitis. Here, you can again see a big fat thumb in the throat called as the thumb sign. It is diagnostic for acute epiglottitis. The bacteria responsible for acute epiglottitis is Haemophilus influenzae. And keep in mind that this bacteria is not related to the flu despite its misleading name. The classic scenario for acute epiglottitis will involve unvaccinated children because they are susceptible to an attack by Haemophilus influenzae. The treatment for epiglottitis is third generation cephalosporin empirically. Keep in mind that acute epiglottitis is a serious condition and it can result in respiratory direct obstruction due to swelling of the epiglottis. So, if you encounter such a case in clinical practice, always look out for impending obstruction and secure the airway of the patient. Moving on to our next important x-ray, let's suppose you have a patient from a South Asian country like India or Pakistan. He has a history of productive cough, fever, night sweats, blood in sputum and weight loss for over 3 months. He looks very weak on physical exam and he is constantly producing sputum. On his x-ray, you can clearly notice round seed-like balls in both lungs. Look here and here. Compare that to the normal chest x-ray. With his history of being an immigrant from South Asia, productive cough and night sweats, can you guess what the disease is? I hope you're thinking about miliary tuberculosis. Miliary TB is the very severe form of pulmonary TB with widespread invasion of lung parenchyma. Its diagnostic point is this small seed-like pattern all over the lungs. As you know, TB is an endemic in South Asian countries. So you will see TB patients in your clinical practice every day if you are a South Asian. The classic scenario involves a patient from South Asian countries like Thailand, India, Pakistan. So watch out for that in the exam. The x-ray for primary pulmonary TB mild form is in the part 2 videos. So stay tuned. Moving on. This is probably the easiest x-ray in this video. 
let's suppose a 65 year old patient comes to you with 30 years of smoking history severe productive cough all day long so much cough that he has to struggle to catch his breath on his x-ray you can notice a lot of important findings he has increased reticular markings seen here as compared to the normal chest x-ray you can also see that his diaphragm is sort of flattened out and tented as compared to the normal diaphragm you can see it here relatively upheld but in this disease x-ray you can see that it is clearly flattened out the third and the most important finding here is that the chest cavity is very wide and spaced out sort of like a barrel look at the normal x-ray here the chest cavity is narrow and long but in the diseased x-ray the chest has a barrel shape to it can you guess what the pathology is I hope you're thinking about chronic obstructive pulmonary lung disease or simply COPD this is another x-ray showing COPD. You can again see increased reticular markings, flattened diaphragm and the characteristic barrel shaped chest. I have placed an actual barrel here and you can clearly see the resemblance between these two and that's how you're going to diagnose it. There are two types of COPD. One is called emphysema and the patients of emphysema are known as the pink puffers because they don't have cyanosis and they have their lips in a puckered shape to help them breathe out the air. The second type is called chronic bronchitis and the patients are called blue bloaters because they often have cyanosis and a bloating body shape due to edema from right-sided heart failure. COPD is mostly seen in lifelong smokers but keep in mind that it can also be seen in some patients who do not smoke but have a disease called alpha antitrypsin deficiency very important for the exam. Moving on, this is a very important x-ray keeping in mind the current situation of the world with the COVID-19 pandemic. The first thing that you'll notice on this x-ray is how the both lungs are full of a white hue. It looks as if someone has dropped white color on the chest x-ray. This particular x-ray can be seen in a lot of high yield diseases. Can you guess what the pathology is? I hope you're thinking about ARDS or acute respiratory distress syndrome. Here is another x-ray showing ARDS. The diagnostic point for ARDS is the complete whiteout of the lungs. ARDS is a very serious condition that comes in two flavors. Neonatal ARDS is seen in premature infants with surfactant deficiency in their lungs. Keep in mind that diabetic mom is a huge risk factor for ARDS in a baby. In adults, ARDS can occur due to any form of injury to the lungs. It can happen in sepsis or it can happen in a drowned person when water enters the lungs and damages mucosa or inhalation of hot gases during a fire accident can cause it. Severe pancreatitis is also a common cause of ARDS. At the time of making this video, we're going through a COVID-19 pandemic. So it is important to know that coronavirus causes a cytokine storm that attacks the lung mucosa causing ARDS. The treatment of ARDS is mechanical ventilation and the key word to remember here is PEEP positive and expiratory pressure ventilation, very high yield. Moving on to the last x-ray in this video, let's suppose a young man comes to the ER after a knife fight. He has got a huge stab wound on the right side of his chest. On physical exam, his lungs are hyper resonant and his vitals are rapidly declining. On x-ray, you see a number of findings. The right side of a chest has a huge translucent smooth area seen here. Also, you can see the outlining of collapsed right lung here. Another finding is that the contents of the mediastinum have shifted towards the left, as you can see here. This is a medical emergency and you gotta act fast. What do you think the pathology is? I hope you're thinking about tension pneumothorax. This is the most important x-ray in this video and you definitely need to learn how to diagnose tension pneumothorax in an x-ray. You'll see a collapsed lung, a translucent area and mediastinum shifted to the opposite side of the trauma. Tension pneumothorax is caused by trauma to the lung and the main problem is that the air keeps entering the chest but cannot go out, thus making it hard for the patient to breathe. You need to immediately decompress the lungs using a needle so that the air can get out and later you can do a, a thoracotomy and insert a chest tube to make sure the air doesn't get trapped inside. If you want to know the book that I recommend for mastering the x-rays, I've posted the links to those books in the description. Please subscribe, I'll keep making more videos about the high yield stuff. Make sure you watch part 2 of high yield x-rays as well.
We also provide live one-on-one -on -one tutoring services. So if you're interested, the contact info is in the description box. I'll see you in the next video.